What's up everyone, TechCloud here and in this video I'm going to unbox the Dell Venue Pro as you can see right in front of you the box of the Dell Venue Pro. So without any delay let's uh, cut the tape and uh, let's open the box and let's see what's inside. So as I open the bigger box the actual box of the Dell Venue Pro is inside but no tape is applied on uh, this particular uh, box so let's open this one and let's look at the tablet and any accessories comes with it so as soon as i open the box you can see this uh, tablet over here right now there is a plastic uh, package on this one and uh, it indicates the buttons and uh, on the back it has a very nice uh, texture and very nice feel to it Anyways, we will look at the tablet later on. Let's look at what's uh, included inside the box. And uh, other than the Windows information, you have the manual and as well as the safety information. You have the wall charger from Dell. This is uh, a two ampere uh, wall charger, as you can see over here, pretty common charger. And uh, this is the Middle Eastern version and uh, you have uh, a micro usb cable for charging and uh, as well as syncing or copying anything uh, you want on your tablet so pretty basic stuff nothing too fancy let's look at the tablet itself so let's uh, remove this uh, plastic uh, cover and uh, let's feel the actual tablet itself so here is the tablet itself and it has the 18 screen and the screen resolution is 1280 by 800 so it is basically a 720p screen slightly more than 720 and it feels actually very nice and very solid in the hand with excellent build quality which is kind of surprising because the tablet is not that expensive and it has the front facing camera and it has the ambient sensor as well on the side uh, as you can see it has all the controls on one side it has the volume rocker over here and it has the mic as well and it has the power button and this is the mic over here and uh, this is the charging led and the charging port as well and it has the micro sd slot here and uh, i have actually tested this uh, slot up to 64 gb and it works pretty well and on the top you have the windows button and also you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and at the bottom you have the speaker grill and it is actually only one speaker but the loudness of the speaker is good enough but uh, if you are uh, listening to the audio which does not have very high quality then uh, it is easy to push this uh, speaker into the limit as compared to the ipad it has a 5 megapixel camera on the back just like uh, iPad and the other regular tablets. So basically a average quality camera, not uh, something fancy or uh, nothing to brag about. So let's power on the device and uh, let's go through the setup process. So the initial setup screen is pretty easy. You have to select the country, you have to select the region. You have to select the keyboard and also you have to select the time zone. Since I use the US uh, store, so I will uh, select United States and uh, similarly I will select the time zone I am uh, currently in. So let's press the next button and uh, this is the license agreement. If you want, you can read through it and press accept. And in order to register your product and get, get the Dell updates you have to put your uh, email address over here and press the next button. Since I have uh, done that I have pressed the next button and now it's uh, going to personalize few stuff you can change uh, the color and also you can uh, change uh, the rather actually you can uh, name your uh, tablet in any way you want let's call it sa-tablet and let's connect to a Wi-Fi let me input the password so I have actually connected to the Wi-Fi and uh, let's move forward I will actually use the express setting instead of uh, customized settings just to speed up the process now it's gonna take a couple of uh, minutes to set up my 
device and uh, I have to actually input my username and password so I'm going to use my live account I have already input the information and now it's gonna ask me it depends actually if you have not set up your uh, backup email then uh, it will ask you for the code I have done that and you have to press couple of time next and uh, finally it will set up your account and it will continue to install the application on your tablets and it will uh, set up the tablet for you it's gonna take a couple of minutes and uh, sit back and relax so since the tablet is uh, booting up let me tell you a few of the specs it has the Intel Atom 1.33 gigahertz uh, processor and it has the IPS display and it has the 2 GB RAM DDR3 RAM 16 100 megahertz and it has Intel HD graphics and it has the 32 GB storage and it has the Wi-Fi N and it has a dual dual band Wi-Fi and it has the 1.2 megapixel HD camera and it has the 10 watt AC adapter so the setup is done now and as you can see the tablet uh, start screen is uh, now on the screen and uh, you can interact with it all the apps are available I can uh, use all the apps so right now it's uh, on the default brightness so let's crank up the brightness make it uh, max and uh, keep the auto brightness on and let's see how bright is the screen even at the mid-level brightness it looks pretty good no issues here and even the 720p screen on uh, a 8 inch tablet doesn't look all that bad so this is the brightness let's uh, put the brightness to the max as you can see here now it's pretty bright here and uh, maybe it's not iPad uh, bright but it's uh, more than enough and let's open a Internet Explorer and uh, since I'm doing it for the first time so it might take actually slightly longer than usual and it is going to load the MSN Arabia website by default and the scrolling actually feels uh, pretty fluid and the experience internet experience on this tablet is uh, not that uh, bad at all actually very smooth uh, no issues here let's open the watch and uh, let's see how the scrolling works and how everything works So since uh, I have just started the tablet so it's, it is still might uh, doing few things and this is uh, why probably the websites are taking slightly longer but the internet experience seems to me very good and the scrolling, zooming in and out, the pinch to zoom, everything looks uh, extra fluid, very nice and especially it's the full windows. This is uh, Windows 8.1 Pro. so. You can access all the functions of the websites and uh, everything is available for example if I press the play button over here then uh, it's gonna launch the video and I can uh, actually make the video full screen and uh, the volume is actually pretty good uh, I don't think that the single speaker is all that bad it's not great but uh, still I can uh, listen to what uh, this presenter is saying easily and while the video was uh, playing I can uh, still pretty smoothly scroll and pinch to zoom nice very fluid experience and that's nice to see so guys I hope that you have liked the video if you have liked it then please make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video take care and I'll see you later in some other video take care bye